your mics. Mark is back. How you guys doing? How's it going out there in microphone lover world? Today I have the Carol Mud 525. Yes, I said it. I have a microphone called a Mud, an M-U-D, Carol Mud 525. Let's take a look at it real quick. It has an all metal body, a metal screen, an on and off switch that says on and off, and it is a unidirectional dynamic microphone. A little crispy, isn't it? I think it's a little crispy. My watch went off. I'm sorry. I had to check it while I was talking to you. So anyways, I picked up the Carol Mud 525 for $15 on the eBay. And uh, literally because I had never heard of Carol, I had never heard of a microphone called a Mud 525. And I had... Uh, 15 extra dollars in my account. So why not? So I picked this thing up and thought it's obscure. Let's put it on the show brother. All right. So the, uh, the mud 525 from Carol, $15. My first initial thoughts are presence boost. Uh, this is trebly. It is trebly. This could definitely cut through a mix, but probably not in a good way. Uh, with that being said, I do prefer this over just a downright dull sounding microphone. This is not dull. Um, and you know what? For $15, I'm not going to say it's horrific. It's not bad. But this sounds like what I imagine a lot of other oddball named uh, $15 microphones sound like. Research wise, all I could find out on this thing that it used to retail for about 50 bucks. And, uh, I do believe that Carol makes a lot of, uh, PA mics. Uh, uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody's familiar with Carol microphones, by all means, let me know because I couldn't find a whole lot of information, uh, other than the fact that there is an Elvis style, uh, dynamic microphone out there from Carol that is quite pricey. So I don't know if pricey equates to quality, but it is pricey. Maybe it's a good one. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. But this one in particular, uh, this, it'd be a good PA mic. It'd be a good auctioneer mic. It'd be a good karaoke mic, I suppose. Um, it would be, if you're looking for that ultra top in crispy sound on your podcast and you have a good treated room because this does pick up a lot, uh, go ahead, grab it for that. Um, but I'm actually... I'm going to give it the yellow light. It doesn't hurt my ears. I'm not going to give it the red because it's not downright dull like a couple uh, other ones I've done in the past. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. So I'm going to give you the yellow light on it because I think if you looked around enough, you could find this really cheap. And if you can find a microphone for $10 or less that sounds not awful, might be worth it if you're just getting started. Thank God I'm not just getting started. So I'm not going to be keeping this thing. Like I said, it's not horrible. I give it the yellow light. I think if you like the way it sounds and you want that crispy top end, by all means, go ahead and grab it. Uh, this has a little bit of a broadcasty sound to it, to be honest. It's just not a quality broadcasty sound. It's a, it's a low grade to mid grade broadcasty sound. Let's compare it. Uh, like I have been doing lately, the new standard on the show is to compare it with the standard. So we got content condenser microphones. I compared to the Rode NT one and every single dynamic microphone that I do, I'm going to compare it to an SM 58. Why? Because the SM 58 is the industry standard. Uh, and I also think it sounds really good. I don't think it's the best thing in the world. A lot of people say, Oh yeah, sure. SM 58. You have to have one in your mic locker. Not necessarily. I don't, I don't think that's the case. It's a great microphone at a great price that's built like a tank that is quality through and through, but you don't have to have one. Not essential. But for me, it's essential because I want to show you guys what uh, the Carol Mud sounds like compared to the SM58. So let's get that mounted up. That's what she said. Volumed up even. I think we are volumed up. Carol Mud 525. This is how it sounds. The Carol Mud 525. Trebly. Not terribly trebly. That's why I gave it the yellow light. I'm okay with it. I like trebly over dull. Let's do the comparison. 
Here comes the Sure SM58. Hey guys, I'm the Sure SM58. That wasn't a good comparison because I'm talking like uh, Doug Funny. Okay, so this is the Sure SM58. Let's turn this off just to make sure we're not getting a bunch of noise. And we were, it's unidirectional. It's going to pick up some other things. So thank God for our on off switches sometimes. This is a Sure SM58 in comparison. A lot more, a uh, lot fuller sound. And it's still got some clarity. I This is a great mic. No doubt about it. Let's go back to the Carol 525 and turn that on and we get that crispiness back. Again, like I said, yellow light because I think it's not painful to listen to. Uh, and there is a right there is a lot of folks right now that like this top heavy crispy sound. So again, the yellow light on the Carol Mud 525. If you like the way this sounds, you can find them on eBay. Uh, you can find them on used mic places. They're out there, $15 or less. So Carol Mud 525, yellow light all day, not horrible. Bark, obscure mics, peace out.